Now let us proceed to uh, automate add water set delineation using ArcSwart. We'll be using the DM we downloaded. So I have already installed the ArcSwart tool in my ArcGIS. Uh, I'll not go details into the addition of uh, Arc toolbox in ArcGIS. There are uh, many resources available how to add the Arc toolbox in ArcGIS. Uh, so I'll just right click here and uh, check the Arc Swat. And first I'll set up a project, Swat project. Click on this new Swat project. Mm, it is asking to uh, whether I want to save the current document or not. No. Click on this folder icon. Hold a second, it is taking some time. And while you are using this Arc uh, Swat toolbox, uh, be careful. Uh, just add a folder here. Um, what is it? Swat. I choose this folder, click on OK. Project setup is done. Now click on this water set delineator. Automatic water set delineation. Open this. Now open the DM raster. Click on open file. Load from disk. We'll use this one, the crop. UTM then now click on UTM DM projection setup and just define the JD unit as meter we don't have any mass now click on this flow accumulation and flow so before we click on this flow accumulation and direction I would like to present this slide again so you can see this is a graphical representation how the flow direction and flow accumulation is calculated. Um, so on the upper left hand side we have the 3D or like sorry not 3D the 2D. Uh, uh, actually it is a 3D data we have latitude, longitude and elevation as Z. But uh, the graphical representation is a 2, 2D view we have. Uh, Elevation values written for each pixel and using this direction Using this direction code first the flow direction is calculated and from there the flow accumulation. So if you carefully see The flow direction towards the right hand side that is the east direction is 1 Then east south direction is 2 South direction is 4 then southwest west Northwest, North, and Northeast direction. So let us take the first pixel. The elevation value is 78. And if, if we check the surrounding pixel, then the flow will be which direction? should go actually uh, no sorry the first pixel let us take this pixel this value 67 mm. okay yeah so the 78 elevation is 78 here here is 72 74 and 67 so water will flow in this direction uh, southeast direction so that's why the flow direction code for this pixel is 2 you can see here this is the uh, direction southeast direction and for that direction direction code is 2 uh, again let us check here this is 72 surrounding pixels uh, this is the lowest elevation uh, 
for the surrounding pixel of 72 and the flow direction is again towards southeast so this is again the pixel value for this particular elevation value is 2 let us check here this one if we check the lowest elevation around this pixel 71 lowest elevation is um, again okay. the lowest elevation is along this direction actually water should flow along this direction and the elevation uh, the flow direction value for this one should be 2 you don't know why it is written 4 but if we take this pixel the surrounding pixel lowest surrounding pixel is this one so the flow direction is 4 for this one but why 4 is for this one I am not very sure if we take this pixel 49 you check uh, the flow direction should be from 49 to 46 so this is uh, south west <coughs> the uh, direction value is 8 here you can check the direction values based on the elevation values of the neighboring pixels once you have this direction value, one can create a flow direction map like this. And from here, one can calculate the flow accumulation. Let's say for this pixel, uh, water is coming from only this pixel. So flow accumulation for this pixel will be 1. Similarly for here, so for uh, this one again, water is coming from this pixel. So flow direction is again 1. So in these boundary pixels, uh, there is no other neighboring pixel. So here, uh, and again, there is no inflow of water in these pixels. So here, the flow direction, or oh sorry, the flow accumulation will be zero. Uh, let us check this pixel. So here, although there is some issue, but still, if you check this pixel, water is coming from this pixel and this one. So flow direction will be two here. Again here water is coming from this pixel and again this pixel flow accumulation is 2 here. If you check here uh, water is coming from all these 4 pixels so that's why the flow accumulation is 4 here. So accordingly you can see from the flow direction map you can see where uh, the water is getting accumulated and the path of your river network also you can judge from this flow direction map. From here also you can judge but it is much easier to generate the stream network from the flow accumulation layer. So this kind of principle will be following for our watershed delineation in both your ArcSort toolbox and also this Hydrology toolbox will be, will be using two approaches. I have just added uh, the steps for the Hydrology tool. Uh, should be the step so I'll also come this to later so now uh, I'll click here on the flow direction and flow accumulation just completed if you take a large your DM it will take some time and sometime it may not respond if the area is very large and if you are processing uh, systems processing power is not that uh, uh, suitable or not that fast. <clears throat> so uh, it has created uh, the flow direction and if you take 64 hectare area as your size of your micro water set then number of cells will be required 750. You can calculate this with the pixel size. And if you want to reduce the uh, size of this micro water set, you can also do that here. I can take, let's say, 50. And if I click anywhere else, you can see there is a reduced number of cells. So this is this will be the uh, size of your micro water set. You can choose based on your requirement. Let us proceed with uh, let's say 60. Now I have to click on this stream network. It will create 
stream and outlets. End of stream processing. Now if you go back, you can see it has created a stream network and uh, also the outlets. So based on this outlets, we will be creating our water set. Okay. Now if you want to add or remove these outlets, you can use this tool add, delete or third one is redefine. So uh, here we will use this particular or maybe you can add one more point here let's just let's see how to add one uh, this outlet point or delete also once you click on add it will pop up a message left click to add a point right click to stop editing and save points so you have to be careful while you are adding or removing a outlet So I have added outlet here. Uh, this this I have chosen based on the micro data set we have created using the Google Earth uh, web. And you can see uh, just uh, before the joining up to your river network, it has created the outlets. Okay. So every time you will find when the, when two streams are joining, just before that it will add two outlet points to create a uh, micro data set for that uh, outlet point. Now I have to right click and then stop editing. Yes, I want to save my edits. Click on yes. Let's open the data set delineation tool. If you want to delete any point, you can also do that. Now uh, yeah, maybe let us delete a few points. Uh, again, it is showing select point with cursor, right click to stop editing and save. Again, you have to be careful. Let us delete this. This also. We'll keep some minimal points. We'll be not using them. Or oh, let's just use this one or no. Let's just remove these points. This one also here. We'll keep these two and these two. Let's just remove the other ones. Yeah. Now right click, stop editing. Again, let us open the water set delineation tool. Now, click on all water sets outlet. You have to select the outlet. Based on the selection, it will create the water set. Click here. Hold down the left mouse button and drag a box to select the outlets. So, I'll click here and select these points. For for outlets selected, click on OK. Now click on water delineate water set. It will take some time. You can see this has delineated the water sets. I 
check the version. This is the river network. And these are our watershed. Okay, so this is the method one can use to automatically delineate the watershed. We can overlap our manually created watershed here. One is a micro watershed here. Oh no, sorry, this is not the one. Think this is inside in this folder here. So you can see it is overall matching with our uh, watershed we created manually. There are some corrections but overall it is looking fine. So now we will proceed to our next video. We will create again we will delineate the watershed using this TM but this time we will not use, use the ArcSort toolbox rather we will use the Arc Hydrology tool where we will be uh, adding multiple tools we'll use the input from one tool to other tool and also we'll create a steam order map thank you